Yeah, well, the COVID-19 questions come pretty much every day. As a Cook Children's pediatrician, Dr. Jason Turk is both at the front of the line to get vaccinated and fielding constant questions from curious parents. Right now, the data look very good. But for many kids, it won't be an option just yet. And we have to understand that their biological systems uh, are not just miniature versions of us. Pfizer's vaccine, likely to ship out first, has been tested in kids 12 and older. Moderna hasn't started testing in children, but plans too yes, soon. I promise you, I've started getting calls the last two weeks already. Dr. Flor Munoz is a pediatric infectious disease professor at Baylor College of Medicine. She says it could be the end of 2021 before approval down to the infant level. We need to make sure that the dose that we give them is going to be safe in terms of not giving them a lot of reactions. While children play a key role in spreading the virus, most aren't at high risk. So Munoz says there was less urgency, but pregnant women do struggle more with the virus and also haven't been part of testing. Munoz predicts that could happen by the end of next year. They're adults, right? So it's easier to make a bridge or a comparison between non-pregnant healthy adults and pregnant adults. Regardless of timeline, Munoz and Turk say when a vaccine is authorized for you or your child, it will be safe. And of course I would take it and of course people should take it. I think the most important message for parents to know is that vaccines are not only safe and effective, but absolutely necessary. For now, take care of that flu shot and keep masking and distancing. It's extremely important that we maintain our vigilance, even after COVID-19 vaccines are deployed. In Fort Worth, I'm William Joy.